by God that God actually he created us for a test so when people think the world should be perfectly designed what they mean by perfect is no one gets sick everyone lives forever no one gets old um, we have bulletproof skin yeah every that, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah um, and you know no one gets old you know all these things but the thing is this is assuming certain things that that's what God wanted yeah, yeah. but th that assumption could be yeah, wrong exactly I'm saying it, dis it disapproves a certain idea of God yes but not a God in itself not a God in itself yeah. so, so for, for someone to say something's bad design or something's good design yeah they're making an assumption about the creator what the creator wants yeah now in Islam the creator has created us to worship him so God is beyond our imagination God is something we can't imagine but God created us so that we have this loving relationship with him we put our hope and trust and everything in God so tests come in life all of us are gonna die all of us are gonna have our loved ones who pass away and we're gonna go through difficulties so God is a source of peace that's what Islam teaches us in this very uh, t uh, you know in this world which has a lot of trauma and a lot of suffering yeah, that's a fair point. Well, I'm sorry, man. A very lovely conversation, but I won't go out no, 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 no. Is there any material that we can give you? Uh, it's Louis. Oh, Louis. <laughs> what, what did I call you? Um, we have a copy of the Quran. Oh, man, I don't want to like, carry that around and like, oh, damage okay, okay. it. I don't no, no, Are you, you're not going to damage it? Um, okay, okay, if you want, instead of the Quran, we've got this book called The uh, Forbidden Prophecies. So this is just something you can read on the tube or whatever. Fair enough, I don't have any money. So. No, 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 it's all free. <laughs> It's very. It's very good speaking. Yeah, so, yes, Sabur, so how, how did you find that? Well, it makes him interesting point because he said that, for example, he doesn't necessarily negate that just because there's evil that there isn't God. So, yeah. you touched on that. What, what, elaborate a bit. So, that was a, he sh it shows he's thinking, right? Yes. So, he un it, it, it gets rid of the idea of a creator who made everything so then in a way we have a cosmic disco. We all live forever, bulletproof skins, um, never get old and stuff like that. So he, what I was trying to make him understand is it doesn't mean there's no God. It means that idea of God is not tenable. Yeah. Ah, okay. So for you to say there's bad design, you have to make an assumption about God. And Islam teaches us that God didn't create us to have a boogie party, right? God created us to be tested and the purpose of life is not to live forever, yes. but it's to have a relationship with God. Exactly. And also, can we say, for example, when some people say, if there is evil, there is no God. Can we say, well, well, there's good. So therefore, we can say, God does it. And that argument, to say, it's, because some people use the problem of evil. Yeah? To say there is no God because there's evil. Yeah, yeah. You can come and say, okay, God exists because there's good. Yeah. You know? So, in it, the it doesn't make any sense, the argument, essentially. Exactly, exactly. You know, brothers and sisters, uh, that was a nice discussion. He had to go. Uh, it's short, but look, look, this is something very, very important. I think yeah in the dawah it's very important to get your main point across yes so he was in a hurry but the main point we got across that he must I hope he understood is I, the work the purpose of life is to worship God and that the design around us and our fitrah I used you know I spoke about the nature he got that basic point and also how do you get peace through having a relationship with God exactly. that's what the dawah exactly. is about that's what it is. these piecemeal dawah conversations we need to understand that when we see a person accepting Islam, we think someone in that very instance yeah, does yeah. something that sparked it. It doesn't work like that. It takes some people a lot of time. It seeds some people growing. Instant. So for him, maybe he took that on board, and that is going to be, uh, inshallah, uh, other people, other die is going to add on to that. So it's somewhere it's, it begins. So don't ever see it as, oh, it just came, and no, 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 no. That's a plant the seed that we might be nurtured by other people that are going to give dawah, and inshallah, it will accept Yeah, and, and at the same time, you have to remember that when you come here to the park, you know, he's like on camera, people are watching, so he's kind of like, before yes, he was more yes, comfortable. Yes, yes. So look, the thing is, what we need to do in the very short time that we have is try and get to the root of it. Exactly. Sometimes people talk a lot longer, sometimes people talk short, but the main thing I hope he understood, he had a nice conversation with Muslims, he got something for free, and we're accessible. Exactly. And that's what Salam Quran is about. Next time, come back.